Well, it is definitely Friday. It is Friday. For I am sure. glad to see it. I'll be glad when it's over. Yeah, quitting time can't come quick enough. It's been a long week. But it's been a good productive week, but it's still. Yeah. I'm just ready to, man. This heat's been terrible this week. Yesterday was bad. Um, that door opened, it would feel just like you were opening a heater. I mean, it was... Mm -hmm. Hot and humid. That's how it goes. But still had plenty of traffic. I mean, people like the air conditioner, so they'd come out and <laughs> enjoy the air conditioner. So. Y'all must be running a special on screwdrivers. We have. We started the week with 10 sets, and we we're down to that one. Um, I know we've talked about them several times on the video. The the feel, the grip, mm -hmm. everything. I mean, we we had a special a while back on the blue ones. And of course, we sold through those just as quick as we could get them. So we moved to the rest of the sets and selling through those. That's good. Nine sets of screwdrivers ought to be a pretty good week. Uh, it, it it makes for a good week, um, which. They, uh, some of them traded some in, some didn't. Uh, so we actually sold some of the trade-ins too. So either way, cool. we'll take it, make what we can out of it anyways, right? That's good. Between the screwdrivers and we had some hammer sets, they actually come in a case. I got one left of them. We'll open it up and talk about them. I figured that roll cart would have been sold. Man, uh, that's, that seems like that's everybody what they're talking about right now is that ro that one roll cart. I've seen four or five sell in other areas. Um, I've had a lot of people talking about it. Um, had one guy price it, uh, really and truly there was more than one, but one guy that was interested pricing it, uh, which he, uh, he said he had a Tacoma that would match it or something like that, so. Yeah. Uh, but. So, uh oh, hit the computer. This is a hammer set that we've been showing everybody. It comes with uh, three different hammers. You got the 16, the 12, and then this one here. And I think it's, yeah, 14. So 32 ounce, four pounds, and then that one there, I'm not even sure what the weight is, uh, 2.5. My favorite two hammers in this set is these two here. I think you're going to use these two more. Mm -hmm. um, and then this one here is going to be your follow-up, I think. I like how, you know, that the handle is longer on these two. Gives you a little bit more striking distance and stuff like that. So um, they are the indestructible style is, is what we call them. So it does have the uh, rebar going down the middle of them. So it, it helps to keep from that handle breaking and everything else. I like the... Uh, I like the dead blow style hammers, uh, but I, like, I think I like these a little better. I, I like the handle, the grips better and stuff mm -hmm. like that on these. So I know the, the dead blow, it, it helps on the recourse and stuff like that, but still, I, I like these here. So I'm old fashioned, I like these, which we've sold a good amount of them. So uh, this one's actually sold later today. He just don't know what's come in yet, but. I know that 40 ounce that I bought from you, that green one, yeah. I like the way the grip is on it. It's sort of like, a, it almost feels like sandpaper, but the way they yeah. did the plastic on it, I like it a lot. Yeah, they do that uh, for the oil that's going to get on it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just I'm oil, grease, stuff like that. And it helps the grip on it. I know um, some of your factories use those styles of hammers a lot when they're tearing down different pumps and stuff like that. And one of the big things is you've got to have control while you're swinging the hammer, especially yep. um, in a lot of these places where they run um, the accident reports. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to go so long without accidents. If you got a hammer flying around, you're definitely not um, yep. going to stay that way. So uh, the one that I actually worked out, they would actually tell you that if the hammer started to slide in your hand at all, even if the hammer end was still good, if it felt like it was going to slide, you were to go to the tool crib and get another one. Um, I don't know if they still do that or not, but at the time they had went 2 million hours or something like that without an incident, so they definitely didn't want one. Right. But um, they had gloves and stuff to wear, but everybody knows 
even uh, even these here once they get a lot of glove, uh, oil on that slippery point it's going to get to a point to where yeah. they're going to slip so we uh i know one guy he changed one out about every two to three nights he'd get a new hammer Holy uh, i don't even want to think about how expensive that was but <laughs> uh, i guess the pumps that they were selling uh made enough profit to cover it i don't know which i get it i mean i that when i left um, they were still accident free, but I know it was shortly after that they had they ended up having a recordable accident, so they weren't very happy. But um, it's it's those you know same way with those screwdrivers. Uh, it's got the the non-slip on them. Mm -hmm. I mean that's just going to keep you from you know slipping and whether it you're not with a screwdriver you're not really going to slip and and do too much because you're just taking a screw or something like that out. But uh, you are going to get pretty frustrated mm -hmm. with it slipping in your hand and everything else. Plus, that keeps you from it designed to help keep from getting carpal tunnel and everything else. I was so. worried about the Matco when I first got them, but you know the way that that stuff in there is, it's almost like a sandpaper too. But it it holds up really really well. So I'm not going to lie. When I first saw them, or when I first bought my first set of them, that was like that. I was afraid that within a month that was going to be wore off. I thought it would peel loose is what I thought would happen, but... That's what I thought. I thought within I a month it was going to be... Um, it's just It was just going to be a slick... Them Germans figured out how to make it sound? Or? Uh, they definitely got it figured out. Uh, we've talked about these in, in several videos, but... Uh, I wouldn't trade my screwdrivers for nothing. Mm -hmm. I thought when I first uh, got into it, I really liked the look. Now I hadn't ever used one before, but when I first started buying tools, I really liked the look of the snap-on hard handle. Mm -hmm. I really liked the look of them. Um, They're just not comfortable though. Well, all. I hadn't used one at the point uh, at that point, but I really liked the looks of it. So I was actually debating on buying um, a snap-on ratchet, and it just so happened that the macro guy come first, and I ended up buying one of these up here. We've talked about my favorite ratchet. Um, I got a really good deal on it. So I never went to one of those. Um, and then I actually had a guy that was, he was quitting, so I bought one of his. And I, I just didn't like, I liked the look of it a lot, but mm -hmm. I didn't like, like you said, the, the feel of it wasn't there. So I guess once you get used to the comfort grip, that's just the way you want to go. Yeah. I mean, that hard handle, it seems like when you get up on the top of it, you know, like that, the square part that goes on the very top. Yeah. That, I don't know, that just is very uncomfortable to me. And I just don't like that square feel either. Like it, yeah. it just don't, it don't feel good. Right. I it prefer just, that rounded yeah, feel. The, the way that it, um, when you go to grip, the way that the corners uh, feel in your hand is just mm -hmm. a lot different than the way these are. Um, the only, the only thing I ever hear about our ratchets is they wish that they could buy the handle separate. Um, they just, every once in a while they, you know they'll sell one that's actually a beer tap but they don't sell them uh i don't know why they, well i do know why they do that so they you know a guy can't swap his handle color out you just have to buy a new one you know? <laughs> so well i, I like the, the fact that they don't just drive on um and that's the only thing there's not a whole real a lot of reason why you would want to buy just the handle when they don't drive on um when you drive, when even on the screwdrivers, when you start driving them in, um, if somebody did try to change colors two or three times, next thing you know, um, when they go back to go with it, it just gets looser and looser every time. So um, I guess if they were done with that color and just bought a different color and didn't go back to that, um, but even with screwdrivers, the more you drive the shaft in, the, the more you know it gets loose inside the handle, which I think you can turn it a couple different times and then you just go ahead and replace the, the handle. But that you know they butterfly these and then they make those as well to where mm -hmm. you can't drive them on and off so uh, i'm okay with it i like it not just for the sales aspect but <laughs> you have uh, things like you would you know? yeah not, oh not, you need a blue handle I, just buy a new ratchet you just buy a new ratchet yeah buy not just ratchet. for the sales I, I like the fact that you know i ain't got to worry about it just coming off or nothing like that which most of the time you know anyway but that's true well, I guess we're going to go back here and try to get the rest of this Friday over with so we can finally go home. But 
thank you for coming and like always guys if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here if you're not subscribed click that button y'all have a great week see ya